Okay, so today's video is going to be a tutorial for this look, and this is something that um, is just fun, and it's just messing around with color sort of um, on your lid but not in your crease so that it kind of, when you blink you get that shot of color. I um, really like the effect, so I just wanted to kind of show you guys how to do it. And uh, yeah, so if you want to know how it's done, then just stay tuned, and here's the tutorial. So to start off this eye, I'm going to go ahead and just do the color. Um, again, this is something that I really like because it's a way to wear color that's not super dramatic, because if you just look at me straight like this, you can see that it doesn't look like I have, boom, eyeshadow on, and then, you, you know, if I look down, or like say you're taller than me, or... You know, if I blink, then it's like, ooh, it's kind of more fun. And then you can obviously do this with, like, any color. Like, you can do it with green, um, you know, green, yellow, blue, or, you know, like, really pink, red, whatever. But this is just one that I kind of liked for, um, at least the style that I'm wearing today, which will be in an outfit of the day. So, I mean, it's just, it's just fun. And it gives me an excuse to play around with color, which I haven't been doing that much lately, so... Uh, yeah, so to start off, I just went ahead and primed my lid with Urban Decay Primer Potion. Whatever primer you want is fine. Um, so I'm going to actually start with the middle yellow color and build my way out. So the yellow color is, um, butter, what is it called? I don't know, I forget what it's called. Uh, the yellow from Sugar Pill. Um, MAC makes a good matte yellow. I think it's just called yellow. So there's a lot of companies that make pretty good ones, but I like Sugar Pill just because it's readily accessible for me. Uh, so yeah, so basically I am applying this kind of in the center um, of my lid and I'm not applying it past my crease because you really just want it to be just right there. And then you can use the same brush that you used the yellow for for the orange. So I'm just going into Sugar Pill Orange. Again, MAC has an orange as well. A lot of companies do. Um, so I'm just going to very softly just kind of blend the two together and then I'm going to use a couple more pencil brushes um, so I'm using one and I'm using a little bit of a MAC pink this or uh, matte pink matte pink um, this is Dolly Pop I think and this is gonna go like right on the edge of the orange and it's not gonna be super super noticeable but if you try to blend just um, purple into orange it kind of looks muddy so you need a little bit of a, like a pink fade in there okay so then for the purple I'm going back to an old favorite this is um, makeup forever number 92 it looks really blue there but it's really purple anyway it, it, it never shows up good on cameras like trust me so I'm taking another pencil brush with that and that's gonna go right in my inner corner part right here right on my outer corner now I kind of winged mine up just a little bit because I know that I'm going to put um, liner right there. So then you can go ahead and sort of do that. That's when I like to take the pink and really blend together the, um, the pink and the orange. And then just as a final touch to get everything nice and blended, I just take a clean brush. Mine's stained orange, but it is clean. And then I just kind of blend them all so that they all go nicely together then the next step in this look is to just apply a black eyeliner i'm using this one from essence and you just want it kind of really close to the lash line and not super harsh okay so then once the liner's on you can see it kind of just adds that definition and then i'm just going to apply some thick coats of mascara to the top and the bottom and that's really kind of finished it up and i'll show you what you can do for lips okay so then once you're done with the eye this is kind of what it looks like and you can see that it's just that pop of color it looks really cool i really like it it's um kind of a fun thing to do and play around with color a little bit so for cheeks i want just a sort of a simple pink um i didn't bother contouring but instead i just wanted some pink cheeks so I'm using kind of just a light pink um, this is an old beauty powder but any sort of color really that suits well with your skin tone you can use um, but I'm just going for a, a matte light pink for lips I'm thinking of doing kind of like a pink purple play just because I have some pink and purple going on so I'm actually going to be using um, this is a lipstick from MAC it's called Impassioned 
and I'm going to go over it with a little bit of Violetta, which is a purple. So I haven't tried this before, so we'll see what it looks like. Okay, so that's what Impassioned looked like. You can see it's kind of just a bright pink. So I'm going to go over it with a little bit of Violetta and see if it does anything. I don't know if it will, actually, but... After applying Violetta, this is what it finally looks like. Um, add just kind of a little bit of a different shine to it. I actually really like it. So, um, yeah, so that happens to be the finished look. Um, really simple, really like it. Have just a sock bun up and whatever, but I just decided to kind of play with color because I'm actually just going to the mall and I kind of just wanted to make something fun. Anyway, um, so yeah, hopefully you guys like this. It's fun. It's pretty easy. Um, always play around with any like bright colors you have because you can do the same sort of thing where it's just in your crease so it doesn't look super noticeable. Like if I just look like that, it looks like I'm just wearing black eyeliner. You know, so I really like that effect. So uh, yeah, if you guys use it for something, let me know. Always leave a video response. As always, all my um, links and everything are down in the underbar. So like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, so you guys can follow me on those. And uh, yeah, so hopefully you guys are doing good. And until my next video, I'll talk to all of you soon.